Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we will discuss about the most important things to do just after installing the Negus Network Monitoring Tool in your Kali Linux or any Debian Linux, which is really gonna be helpful to all of you for your local site configuration or if you are doing any configuration from the any remote location. So first of all, I just wanted to tell you that if you didn't install Nagios in your system, then first you, uh, install Nagios or simply check out my earlier video how to install Nagios Core Network Monitoring Tool in your Kali Linux just using a uh, few copy paste commands. Link of this video you can find in the description box below or you can click on the i button. This video is really gonna be helpful to you that how to install Nagios in your Debian Linux operating system in a very easily way. So firstly uh, you check that your Nagios service is running properly and then go to your browser and open Nagios portal. Here in this Nagios portal you can check my local host is already running and added in my configuration. So now if you want to do a new configuration uh, like adding a new host or a new device or any of the networking device or uh, their uh, services like HTTP service, uh, SSH, ping, current load or any type of messaging alert like telegram alert, gmail alert uh, any, or any type of configuration. Then don't worry, I'll show you how to do all of that configuration in a very simple manner or in an AGS way. So for that, first of all, you will install a ZDVI package manager. If you didn't have installed already in your uh, Linux system, it will take a little bit of time to installing in your system. Uh, so for that, wait for, uh, wait for a while. Now you can see it, it has been successfully installed. Now open your favorite browser and Google v, uh, Visual Studio Code Editor. This is one of the most interesting and favorite tool which is really basically basically used by the uh, coder. Coder love this tool so much. So we will also going to use this tool to configure our Nagios con configuration. So for that download this VS Code Editor from their official site and select the .dev or Debian Linux file and download in your Linux system wherever, wherever you want or simply putting this downloaded file in your uh, Linux download folder as I am doing here. Now open your terminal and go to the download uh, download section wherever you have to put in put it this file and simply install this tool as I'm uh, as I'm doing. So when this VS Code editor is completely installed, then open it and choose setting as you need like theme and so on whatever now click on the left hand side extension button and click uh, and install some of the extension which uh, which i'm here going to install uh, first one is material theme icon which which provide a really good and impressive icon theme Now install git lens. This is basically used to sync your code on github uh, and then uh, the most important extension which is uh, uh, which is I am using here is remote SSH. This is the main extension which I am going, going to use here for my uh, Nagios configuration remotely or other than my Linux or Nagios machine. I mean to say that if I'm away from my Nagios machine and having a SSH connection enabled on my machine then I can simply connect to my Nagios machine from any of the remote location and can configure, configure my Nagios configuration and I really really love this tool so much.
now one more extension is very helpful to you that is the remote explorer so when you want to open your configuration file and folders any of the remote machines or the same location in vs code editor this extension will help you to open all of this file in a single work workspace in this vs code editor so uh, if you are a developer developer this is uh, this tool will really want to be helpful uh, helpful to you to open your uh, file and folders from servers to your location and can and also you can edit your configuration file there now once uh, you have to completed this vs code uh, activities close your vs code editor and go to your terminal now first check uh, what you, what ip address uh, you have configured in your linux machine or nagios server note down this and uh, remember for you for this future reference purpose you can check it using if config command here in my case 192.168.91.147 uh, configured here now install sss service if you are not in, uh, already installed or enable in your linux machine So now uh, check that your SSS service is working properly or not. Also enable root privileges or SSS login access as I am doing simply here or you can also uh, check out my earliest video that how to ground root permission, permission using SSS login in Kali Linux. Link, in, uh, link is also mentioned in the description box below. So uh, when you have successfully configured your SSS setting or enable root permission via SSS login, check it properly that it is working fine or not from any of the connected machine or your uh, own Linux terminals. If it is working properly, uh, that's uh, very good. Now open your VS Code Editor again and go to your Remote Explorer icon on the left hand side of the VS Code Editor. Click on it and also click on the plus sign button above to add a new host using the SSH. Type SSH hostname at the IP address. In my case, I am simply putting here SSH at the rate 192.168.91.147 as I am already told you that you have to remember that and, uh, and simply press uh, enter button save this configuration uh, configuration file and click the connect button to connect your linux nagios server now vs code editor will ask you the permission uh, the password uh, of your linux machine uh, you you simply put it here and provide the linux machine password and click the enter button it will take a little bit of time to establish the connection so wait for the connection so wait for the connection while your connection will not successfully establish once your connection is established now you can simply uh, open any of file and folder of your linux machine now here i am going to open nagios folder where my nagios server has been installed so for that uh, click on the open folder and when folder location is open select user or usr then local then nagios then etc and then uh, ok button to open this folder in your vs code editor uh, finally we have completed our first task here the second task is that how to configure nagios configuration and adding a new host and services and so on so for that uh, in my first configuration i am just changing my nagios server name uh, from localhost to nagios server 
so what will we have to do uh, just open object folder and here you can see a number of files listed below here click on click on the local host file and open it in, uh, in your vs code editor this is our this is our local host or a negus server local host configuration template visa template file so i am here going changing my uh, local host to negus server so for that first of all replacing all the local host to negus server and save it After that you will have to verify this configuration uh, what do you have to modify uh, so for the verification open your terminal and type a sim simple line of command slash usr slash local slash nagus slash win slash nagus uh, space minus v space slash usr slash local slash nagus slash etc and slash nagus dot cfg and simply hit the enter and check the message display on the screen uh, you can see here uh, some of the verification uh, showing here that how many host and host groups are available and how many services has been configured uh, contact time period and many more things if you found any error please check it once again and verify otherwise restart your negus service as i'm doing here using the uh, linux command that system ctl restart negus check and check on the negus portal for the changes that you have to made in your configuration you will find that your configuration is updated and your lo uh, local host name also changed to nagios server so i hope this video would be uh, informative and helpful for you so if this video will helpful to you uh, stay touch with me and thank you so much for being connected here uh, soon we will be meet in another session till then uh, be happy and keep learning and enjoy your time thank you so much